What's up guys, Nitro here. Welcome back to another episode of my Pokemon Blaze Black Egglock. Last time you guys, we ca we caught the three Musketeers being Cobalion, Terrakion, and Virizion. Make sure you guys go check out last episode. It was a ton of fun. We got those three legendaries. We swapped them out for an egg. In today's episode, you guys, we are going to be challenging the Elite Four. So... If you guys are excited for today's brand new episode of the Egglock, make sure you guys night slash that like button. And today's question of the day is going to be, who is your favorite Elite Four member? Mine would have to be Bruno. It could be from any region, by the way. It could be from 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, or 6th gen. Mine would be Bruno. Bruno is just a really, really cool guy. And my second favorite would be Koga, just because I like how he was a gym leader and then he became an Elite Four member. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, let me know who's your favorite Elite Four in the comment section down below. Now you guys, I did do a grinding montage, it will be at the end of the video, and we had some team team like updates and changes and stuff like that, so the layout should be, um, you know, new and stuff with all these new Pokemon, well, some new Pokemon. First off, we have Aquilamon, the Brave area at level 80 with the Muse Fly, Close Combat, Brave Bird, and Air Slash. We have Kid Flash, the Electivire level 80 with the Muse Strength, Ice Punch, Close Combat, and Thunder Punch. We have Geico, the for Alligator level 80 with the Moose Crunch, Dragon Dance, Ice Punch, and Waterfall. Next up, we have Ultramax, the Haxer is at level 80 with the Moose Night Slash, Dragon Dance, Outrage, and Dragon Claw. Now, the reason why I brought Ultramax is because I did say I was going to do some team changes here and there. And I really didn't have another fire type besides Infernape, and I didn't want to use Infernape again. So I didn't have a fire type, so I was like, you know what, let's just take the um, Axu. So I trained it up, and here it is. Next up, we have Savage the Beedrill. That's right, you heard it here. Beedrill is on the team at level 80 with his Cross Poison, Toxic, Poison Tail, and x -Scissor. Now, the reason why I, bought, I brought Beedrill is because I looked at its stats, and it's really, really good. Attack is 255, and its speed is really good. So Savage is on the team for that. And last but not least, we have Houdini the Alakazam at level 80 with his Psychic, Shadow Ball, or Sphere, and Calm Mind. Now, what happened in the grinding montage was that Espeon did die in the grinding montage, unfortunately. So, I just brought the Alakazam, and it's on the team. So, you guys, without wasting any more time, let's go challenge the Elite Four. We're going to do it all in one take. I thought about splitting it up, like do one by one, but I decided not to do that. Just because the new LPs will be starting next week. Like I said, countless times, so we're going to make our way over here. Now, there is no order on uh, which one you challenge first. You can challenge here, you can challenge there. There's no order, and that's really cool what they did, um, how they did that in black and white. So, um, I think what I'm going to do is challenge the fighting one first. So, I I'm not trying to give you an item. So, we are going to go with Houdini up in front, and we're going to go challenge the fighting elite four members so we're gonna make our way over here and make our way to the top this is really cool i really like this and in black and white too they look really really cool as well so i really like that they uh changed it up a little bit so let's go let's do this all right at the top will be the first member of the elite four marshall Really excited, you guys. We're getting closer and closer to the end of this LP. I am so excited. If we lose now, we lose. I won't be coming back and restarting it. If we lose, we lose the lock. We'll have the egg hatching video and we'll just end off the LP. But if we win, that'll be great. So here we go. Greetings, Challenger. My name is Marshall. In order to master the art of fighting, I'm training under my mentor, Alder. My mentor sees your potential as a trainer and is taking interest in you. It is my intention to test you, to take you to the limits of your strength. Kia! Here we go. Oh, oh boy. First Elite Four member. Oh boy. Alright, Marshall has a full team of six, and it's a double battle! Oh crap. Okay, level 71. Ooh, ooh I might be a little bit high level. Alright. Uh, let's go for the Psychic, and we are gonna go for the Air Slash. Alright, so I, I'm a little bit over level, but it, it's okay. It's alright. Hopefully you guys don't mind that too much. We're gonna go for the Psychic. We're gonna kill the Throw right off the bat. Alright, so Throw is out of the way. Alright, you're gonna go for the Stone Edge and you miss. Alright, so that's really good. And I am gonna be using the Speed Up button a little bit. All right, next up is a Min Chao. Okay, so we're going to go Psychic on the... You know what? Let's get rid of the Sock because it has Stone Edge. So we're going to go Psychic on the Sock. We're going to go Air Slash on the Min Chao. Psychic, that's going to kill the Sock, right? There we go. Okay, Sock is out of the way. 
All right, uh, Stone Edge. Holy crap! Can you stop? All right, you're gonna go into Conkeldor next. So we are gonna go for the Psychic, and we are gonna go for the Air Slash on Conkeldor. Psychic that should kill the Minshaw. Let's see. There we go. Okay, Minshaw's out of the way. All right, all right, guys. We're we're doing good so far. We are doing good. Air Slash. Can we kill this thing in one hit? I know Conkeldor is really bulky yet, but we did get the Flinch, which is nice. All right, Polyrath is up next. So we are gonna go for the Psychic, and we are gonna go for the Air Slash. All right, Psychic on the Polyrath. Can we kill it in one hit? Yes, we can. All right, and it was a crit too. I think the crit mattered because Polyrath is really bulky as well. So we're gonna go for the Air Slash, and we're gonna kill the Conkeldor, right? Yes, we are. All right, Conkeldor is out of the way. So so far, it's been an easy battle. Uh, last two Pokemon are going to be a Breloop. Oh, this is your last Pokemon. What? What? Holy crap. Okay, Psychic. And that, that's a dead Breloom. All right, so... Oh, Focus Sash. Focus Sash. All right, Air Slash. That's going to kill it. And there we go. Breloom is dead. So that was an easy first battle. And Aquilamon is going to be level 81. All right, so we defeated Marshall. Nice. All right, so that was a really easy battle. Not going to lie. All right, so the first Elite Four members out of the way. Done with. Now, I think what I'm going to do next is go over here and challenge this Elite Four member. There is no order, like I said, so we're going to make our way over here. And this is really cool, actually. We, like, levitate. Um, we don't even take the stairs. We just levitate up here. And I like how um, all those, like, the stairs are kind of broken and stuff. I just really like the black and white design of the Elite Four. I don't know why. And you can't go back, so... Alright, so this is the Ghost type Elite Four members. So we are gonna go with Ultramax and Geico. I think this is a double battle as well. So here we go. Eyes brimming with dark flames. This man rejected everything other than himself in order to bring about one singular justice. That's part of the novel novel I'm writing. I was inspired by a challenger who was just here and somehow I got a little sad. Excuse me, you're a challenger, right? I'm the Elite Four's ghost type Pokemon user Chantel, and I shall be your opponent. All right, here we go. Second Elite Four member. Here we go, Chantal. All right, let's see what you got, fam. Let's see what you got. All right, you have a full team of six. Driftwim and Golord. Okay, so it is a double battle. Level 71 for each. Okay, so we are actually going to go for one Dragon Dance. And we are going to go for the Waterfall on the Golurk. All right, Ultramax, go for the Dragon Dance. And the only reason why I'm speeding it up a little bit is because the emulator does lag every time I go into a double battle or a rotation battle or a triple battle, whatever you want to call it. So that's why I'm speeding up a little bit. So I do apologize, but ooh, the flame orb. Okay, that could be kind of deadly. Uh, we are going to go for the Night Slash on the Drift Blim, and we are going to go for the Crunch on the Miss Magius. All right, Night Slash, that should kill the Drift Blim. Hopefully we can get a critical hit or something. We are plus one. All right, Drift Blim's out of the way. It doesn't have after aftermath, so that's kind of... Oh, God, Thunderbolt. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Come on, Ultramax. There we go, buddy. There we go. You can take that, Thunderbolt. Miss Magius should die. No, okay. You're going to send out a Frostlass. Ooh, okay. I think I'm going to go with the Frostlass because Frostlass has Ice Beam or some type of Ice-type move. So I don't want Ultramax to die. Okay, so you're going to use a Full Restore on Miss Magius. That's fine with me. We're going to go for a Hyper Potion on our for alligator all right so night slash let's kill the frost last let's kill it there we go frost last is dead all right so we have that thread out all right next up is going to be a jelly scent okay so what i'm going to do is go for the night slash on the miss magius and i'm actually going to go for a dragon dance on geico so night slash that's going to kill the miss magius all right miss magius is out of the way all right, next up is going to be... Oh, wait. First, we got to go for the Dragon Dance. Duh. All right, Shadow Ball. Is that going to hurt? Is that going to hurt? Oh, that does a decent amount. Next up is a Chandelure. All right, so this these are your last two Pokemon. All right, so we're going to go for the Night Slash. And we're going to go for the Waterfall. All right, Night Slash. That should kill the Drift Blim. I mean the Jellicent, not the Drift Blim. Oh, it doesn't. Wow, this thing's a tank. Waterfall, that has to kill the, the Chandelure. There we go. Okay, so... Jellicent's your last Pokemon. Alright, Shadow Ball on Geico. Alright, we can take that. Alright, this is your last Pokemon. You're probably going to heal up. So we're going to go for the Night Slash, and we're going to go for the Crunch. Oh, you're not going to heal up. What? Wow, that's surprising. What the hell? Alright. So, we've defeated the second Elite Four member, Chantal. So it was a pretty easy battle. Sorry. 
Uh, first, I must apologize to my Pokemon. I'm really sorry you had a bad experience because of me. Oh, it's not your fault. This is how bad... Wait, what? What? Is she talking to herself? What the hell? Okay, I'm gone. I'm gone. <laughs> Alright, so, two Elite Four members down, two more left. I'm gonna heal up my Pokemon really quick, and I don't know who I'm gonna challenge next. I think I'm gonna challenge... I think I think her name is Caitlyn. She used to be in Platinum. She's like one of the Frontier Brains in Platinum. I guess she got promoted or whatever, and now she's a Elite Four person. So we're gonna battle her. And this, I like this room as well. I just like all the rooms in black and white. I don't know why. They just look really, really cool. I think this is Caitlyn or Grimsley. I think this one's Caitlyn. Yeah, this one's Caitlyn. So we're gonna make her make our way over here, and she's sleeping. She's sleeping on the job. What the hell, Caitlyn? Alright, so I believe she's a Psychic type, so I'm just going to stick with Ultra Max and Geico. so let's battle. Who are you? How impudent of you to disturb my sleep. Hm. You appear to pose the combinations of strength and kindness very well. Make your best effort not to not to bore me with the yawn-inducing in battle, clear? Wow, okay. First off, you're an Elite Four member, okay? You shouldn't be sleeping on the job. Second off, I don't give out boring battles. You're, you're about to see. You're about to see. All right, Musharna and Sigalith. Okay. Level 71. All right, so like I said, we're kind of high leveled, but it's all right. Hopefully, you guys don't mind too much. We're going to go for a Dragon Dance, and might as well go for a Dragon Dance on both Pokemon, basically. We're going to set up once because, I don't know, I feel like these two could be a threat. Hurricane. Okay, Hurricane, don't do a lot, please. Please, please, please. Oh my god. Okay, the light screen. I don't know why you went for the light screen, but okay, we're gonna go for the Night Slash on the Musharna, and we are gonna go for the Crunch on Sigalith. Alright, Night Slash. And can we kill it? Can we kill the Musharna? No, we can't. Alright, we're gonna go for a Crunch on the Sigalith. That should kill it. And one hit. There we go. Sigalith is out of the way. Alright, what's next? What's next? You're gonna go for Trick Room. Damn it. Okay. Gothitelle is up next. Alright, we are gonna go for a Night Slash on the Gothitelle, and we are gonna go for the Crunch on Gothitelle. We're just gonna double team the Gothitelle, basically. Alright. So, we're gonna go... Oh, you missed the Focus Blast. Thank God. Okay, Crunch, Night Slash. Wait, what the hell? Why is it not super effective? What the hell? Wait, what type is Gothitelle? What? Hold on. Alright, Dragon Claw, and I guess we'll heal up really quick. Uh, let's go for a Hyper Potion on Geico. Let's just heal up Geico. Alright, Reflect. Damn it, okay. Damn it, damn it. Oh, Thunderbolt, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. Oh god, oh god, okay. Good thing Geico didn't die. Dragon Claw, kill the Gothitelle. Okay, Gothitelle's out of the way. Alright, what's next? Next up is going to be a Bronzong. Okay, so this could be kind of scary. I'm going to go for the Night Slash on the Musharna. And we might as well just double team the Musharna. So just go for the Crunch. Psy Shock. Okay. Alright, that's on uh, Ultra Max. So, oh, okay. You're going to go for Rest. That's really not going to do anything. So, lower your defense. Good, good. Night Slash. Let's kill the Musharna. Let's kill it. There we go. Musharna's out of the way. Alright. So I believe you have three Pokemon left. You're going to go into Reuniclus next. All right, three Pokemon left. We're going to go for the Night Slash, and we're going to go for the Crunch. We're just going to double team. Oh, God, this Psychic is going to hurt. Oh, my God. Okay, Crunch. Holy freaking crap. Night Slash, kill the Reuniclus. Get this damn thing out of the way. All right, so two more po Well, one more Pokemon left, basically. All right, come on. Bahiam. Behem's your last Pokemon? I, I swear I thought you had a Metagross. Actually, I kind of want to... Oh, screw it. We'll take this turn to heal up both of our Pokemon. Alright, so Hyper Potion each other up. That's not going to heal us all the way up because Ultramax has 244 HP. But Geico's going to get healed up all the way. There we go. Alright. Trick Room again. Can you stop? Trick Room again. What the hell? All right, we're going to go for the Night Slash on a Behem, and we are going to go for the Crunch on the Behem. We're just going to double team this thing, basically. Night Slash. All right, kill the Behem. All right, Behem's out of the way. All right, level 81 for Geico. Uh, Crunch. Come on, come on. 
gyro ball. All right, that's not going to do too much. All right, can the reflect wear off as well? No, okay. Night Slash, and we're going to go for the Waterfall on the Bronzong. All right, Night Slash. Waterfall, can we kill the Bronzong? Can we kill it? Can we kill it? Yes, we can. All right, so we've defeated the third Elite Four member. No problem at all. Caitlyn is done with. All right. You face all the members? No, I haven't. I have one more member left. All right, one more left, and then we are done. We are done. So let's make our way over here, and this is the last Elite Four member. So I'm just going to speed this up a little bit. Because the emulator is lagging, of course. Alright. I'm kind of scared. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of scared. I believe this guy has dark type. So I'm just going to stick with what I got. Alright, so here we go. Final Elite Four member. Man, oh man. What is going on today? Challengers coming one after another. Well, no matter. I'm Grimsley of the Elite Four. And I will fulfill my duty to be your opponent. Alright, here we go. Final Elite Four member. Grimsley. Let's do this, bud. All right, last Elite Four member. Full team of six, Sharpedo <coughs> and Lipar. Excuse me, my voice just kind of gave out there. Okay, we are going to go for a Dragon Claw right off the bat against Sharpedo. And we're going to go for a Waterfall on the Lipard. You're going to go for Sucker Punch. Oh, I didn't heal up my Pokemon. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Damn it. Dragon Claw. Okay, we killed the Sharpedo. Sharpedo's out of the way. All right, next up. All right, we're going to go for the Waterfall first. And can we kill the Lipard? Yes, we can. All right. So his first two Pokemon are out of the way. Next up is an Absol. Okay. And a Bisharp. Oh, boy. This could be kind of scary. We're going to go for a Dragon Claw on the Absol. We're going to go for the Waterfall on the Bisharp. Bisharp's going to go for Sucker Punch. Oh, that did a lot. What the hell? Why did that do so much? Dragon Claw. And we kill the Absol in one hit. Okay. So everything is dying in one hit. Waterfall. Can we kill this thing in one hit? No, we can't. Haunch Crow! You have a Haunch Crow! Look, guys, it's Lemio! Lemio! Alright, Hyper Potion. And we are gonna go for the Waterfall on the Bisharp. Alright, Hyper Potion Ultra Max. And Waterfall that should kill the Bisharp. Alright, there we go. Bisharp's out of the way. Alright, so one more Pokemon. Brave Bird! Holy crap! Oh god, that did a lot. Houndoom is your last Pokemon. Okay, and it has Intimidate. Wow. Okay. All right. All right, big dog. I see how you want to play. We're going to go for a Hyper Potion. And we're going to go for the Waterfall on the Houndoom. All right. Come on, Ultra Max. Come on. There we go. All nice and healed up. We're going to go for the Waterfall on the Houndoom. And can we kill it? I know we got the Intimidate. Oh, 1 HP. Damn it. We flinched it, so that's good. All right. Oh, God. That's going to hurt. Damn. That did quite a bit. All right. We're going to go for the Dragon Claw on the Haunch Chrome. We're going to heal up Geico. Oh, actually? Yeah. Let, let's let's heal up. Let's heal up. Because I don't want to risk Geico dying or whatever. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. All nice and healed up. Full restore on Houndoom. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Let's go for the Dragon Claw. All right, Sucker Punch. What the hell? Okay, that's doing quite a bit. That was a crit. Crit Sucker Punch. What? Is that even a thing? What the hell? Okay, Hyper Potion. And we're going to go for the Waterfall on the Houndoom. All right, Hyper Potion on Ultra Max. All right, we're going to go for the Waterfall. Oh, my God. Can you stop going for that? Okay, at least you didn't get a crit. Waterfall, and that should kill the Houndoom. There we go. Houndoom's out of the way. All right, your last Pokemon's Haunchcrow. So, brave bird that like button, like Lemio says. <laughs> I love you, Lemio. Lemio! All right, let's go for the Dragon Claw, and we are going to go for the Waterfall. Dragon Claw, that's going to kill the Haunchcrow, and that is GG to Grimsley. So, that is it. That is it. All right. So, that is it. Astonishing, you defeated all every member of the Pokemon Elite Four, but it isn't over yet. You have one more opponent. Alright, so we have to go to the Central Plaza. And that's going to be it for today's episode, you guys. Next time is going to be the finale, besides the egg hatching video. So, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys night slash that like button. Don't forget to answer the question of the day. And next time, we're going to make our way to the Champions Room. I've been Nightcrow, I'm going to fly out of here. Peace. Dynamite. I'll erase you here.